Okay, not a very long uh, intro because I just want to get started. Okay, where's my dolphin? That's Parsec, that's... Okay, I think the... Ah! Discord is not... <laughs> and that's not dolphin. Okay, well, I mean, the, 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 my title and category kind of already spoil what this is, so... It's not really, it's not really a secret. Uh, hold up. Oh, I want to capture that awesome intro. The, the, the game has a pretty good intro. Uh, Dolphin, you need to re-understand what exactly Dolphin is. Oh, and then that minimizes it. Okay. Uh, no, I said, I said reset, Dolphin. Uh, reset. Do I have to... I said... Reset. Play? Stop? Okay, we'll pause it. Apparently reset doesn't work, so we'll just pause it. Recrop everything. Reposition everything. I'm a I'm honestly kind of anal about the position. The pixel that things are on my uh, desktop monitor. It's a real problem of mine. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yes. Also, we need an image of the day. <laughs> no matter how long I've waited, we can't go on without an image of the day. <laughs> and today, we will go with... Do you have anything blobular related? Let's just go with this one. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, for those who don't know what this game is, and I'd wager that's basically everyone, because this is a very underrated game, and also this is a port. This wasn't released uh, originally on Wii. It was released as Mercury Meltdown for, like, the PlayStation or the Xbox or something. And then got ported to a different system, and then later got ported to the Wii under the title Mercury Meltdown Revolution, which added motion controls, which people are going to be like, oh, grown motion controls, but the motion controls for this game are insanely good. They are incredibly good. And it really makes me sad that I've got to emulate it on a stupid joystick, because I loved the motion controls in this game. Granted, I loved motion controls in general. I was like, Wii Wheel, 100% from Mario Kart Wii, but anyway, so yeah. Um, this is a game that I absolutely loved. Uh, so I, I, just to make sure that it was testing, I uh, made, a, made a profile. You just make a profile. It's nothing really to say. Um, I guess we'll start with the... It's under extras. I guess we'll start with the tutorial. I just had to make sure my controls worked, but yeah. So this is a game that my sister actually bought for me like seven or eight years ago, but I haven't played this game in like five years ever since I uh, lost access to my Wii, ever since I moved out. Uh, so... <clears throat> Basically, this is all irrelevant, I'll explain all of this. Uh, this is kind of a let's play, kind of, I don't know. I like this part, though. If you run out of time, you will see this sad face, but you can still finish this level. This level has got a, an adorable childish charm, and it's just, it's just great. But if you beat the part-time, a happy face appears, so everything's alright. Use the Wii Remote to tilt, tilt the tray. So yeah, you tilt, and you're this blob of mercury. Um, if you lose mercury, you, you can split mer- okay, well, that's a bonus. But you can split mercury on, like, corners and edges, and then you have to control two mercury blobs, and then you can combine them. And you collect bonuses, and you- yay, it's good stuff. And then you get a score, and then bonus points, and... You did it. I guess the, actually, I remember the, t the tutorial kind of just, like, explains everything all at once, <laughs> actually. Anyway, this is a switch. I haven't done the tutorial in a while, though. Hitting sw- well, yeah, we'll, we'll ex- actually, yeah, I shouldn't- yeah, whatever. Pressure switch. 
You need to have enough mercury. If you run out of, if you don't have enough mercury, then the pressure switch won't work. For instance, here only one light lit up. I don't have enough mercury. Uh, and if you uh, run, if if a pressure switch is required in order to beat the game, and you uh, don't have enough mercury, say you lose mercury via some means, uh, you lose. The game actually has a surprising amount of uh, triggers for. Oh, you can't. It is impossible to beat the level. In that case, let's just end the restart. You lose. <laughs> and it's got like a unique emotion, like emoticon, over the uh, under the timer for each for each condition. It's great. I love it. Anyway, oh yeah, sticky floor. I forgot about the sticky floor actually. Sticky floor and ice floor. These will become obnoxious later on. There should be a zoom out. Okay, that... Okay, this is still tilting the camera. I thought there was a zoom out. Oh, yeah, it's A and B. Okay, or 1 and 2. Uh, I should actually bind camera controls to a different... I should bind camera to not the same button as... Yeah, I should bind camera to that. Because <clears throat> there will definitely be instances where I need to change camera and tilt. Uh, okay, D-pad. <laughs> okay, D-pad. Okay, so D-pad. West, east, south, and north. Okay, so now we should have... I can't really have D-pad and stick at once. I'll just have to get used to this. Yeah, I guess it's good enough. It is so much better on D-pad, but... I mean, what's my other alternative? Play with my right thumb? I might as well just play with my left. Because really, that's the only controls. Camera and tilt. <clears throat> and then menu and stuff. So yeah, oh yeah, here, here we introduced the paint mixing. This is a really, yeah, they're called paint shops. This is a really major mechanic. Changing your Mercury's color to match various, oh yeah, the tricolor gate. This thing appears like, in like two levels, I swear. <clears throat> but yeah, you can only go through this gate if you're the correct color, and you can only, uh, finish the game if you're the correct color also. Usually usually the finish pad is white, but sometimes it, it's not always. Then here we have the first enemy. Hey WB, welcome to- actually, I want to turn the game down. Welcome to a game that I'm very glad I can finally play. Anyway, they these things chase you. They aren't very threatening. Usually. Does this include... Does this one introduce the... No, this one introduces is hot and cold. Let's so see, yeah. Heater. You change your state. Oh boy. Change state. <sighs> oh boy, change state. <laughs> oh. And cold mercury. I was pretty... I thought cold... I thought changing your state changed the emoticon. Maybe not in the tutorial. I'm pretty sure it did. And then we have Solid Mercury, which is the most fun to use. Oh, it's Stan! <laughs> oh, good old Stan. He's always going to be an annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing was called Hubrick. Stan always turns, uh, clockwise. Later on, we'll see in a variant of Stan that always turns counterclockwise. Attractor and Repulsor, which are also in, like, two levels. And they are significantly more obnoxious than they are here. I think that 
since the last tutorial level? Yeah. Oh, right, the, the you beat the level music. <laughs> the music of this is such a meme. Oh yeah, but now now I have to uh do uh the menuing with the a weird control stick, whatever, not a big deal. Anyway, so uh this level this game is split into labs. Each lab is basically just like a world. You unlock labs by beating levels. There's sixteen. Yeah, sixteen, definitely only sixteen stages per world. And there's a whole bunch of other crap. So anyway, how are you, WB? Oh yeah, right, you get this, uh, welcome to the astronaut. I forgot about the cutscenes at the start of each lab. So yeah, back to my history of this. Um, I loved this game, and it's one of my all-time favorite games, especially for the Wii. It's, it's honestly incredible. So... I'm doing good. I'm so excited to play this game, as I've mentioned before. Anyway, the amount of mercury you have does not impact at all how uh, how you change color. All that matters, like for for purposes of changing mercury, your mercury is treated as 50/50, no matter how small or big the blobs are. It'll always uh, be the same. Also, I I'm an idiot. I thought that was a switch. I completely did not get the uh, the bonus. Uh, so yeah. Uh, there are a few things you want. You're, you're, there's a few basic objectives. So objective one: beat the beat the level with 100% of mercury. Objective two: beat part time. And objective three: get all the bonuses. And if you're really a gamer, uh, you want to beat 50,000 in order to get the high score, or something like that. What what's what's the score? I think it's like 50,000 plus. Yeah, th yeah, it, 50,000 for your Mercury, and then every bonus is added on, and then assuming to beat par score. So yeah, but then, yeah, that's you're guaranteed to basically get the the number one high score, even though these high scores are complete nonsense. <laughs> uh, if you uh, get all, if you basically get a perfect uh, run, which I, I I'm going to be trying to get a perfect run in every level, which isn't really tracked, but. I mean, since you can do all of the main objectives, since you do in order for 100%, you do have to, uh, there's so much to explain in not enough time. You do have to beat every, uh, objective for each level, but you don't have to be, uh, like, get all the main goals in the same run. You just have to get them all, uh, in, in single, single runs. So you have to get all of the bonuses in a single run. You have to beat the part-time in a run, and you have to complete a run with 100% of your Mercury. But you don't have to do all of that at once. But I am going to, because it's more fun that way. Also, time bonus is more valuable than the uh, the bonus. <laughs> anyway, so if we go to uh, if we go to level select, stuff happens. So. Uh, the color of the, the mercury is the color you finish with. That's basically n irrelevant. The one means you, uh... What is the... What does the one mean? I think the one means you got the top score. Or maybe the one means that you beat the part-time. I don't remember. I think the one means you beat the top score. Actually. Actually, maybe beating under part-time isn't required. You just have to get the high score. Or something? I don't know. But you have to beat part-time in order to get high score anyway. It's impossible otherwise, so. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, the gold cork means you've beaten all of the uh, the bonuses. Like, you've, you've, you've completely 100%ed the level. Uh, otherwise, it's a normal cork at the top of the test, too. Uh, and the cork just means you've beaten... Uh, you've gotten all the mercury. If you haven't beaten the level, saving 100% of your mercury, then there's no cork at all. And the level of fluid in the test tube changes accordingly. Anyway. I know this game pretty well, so... That thing there is just a seesaw. You go over and then it flips. We'll see them later on. I played this game so much when I was younger. And as you saw in the first level, if you replay a level, you get to see, like, a ghost of what you did before. For, like, I guess competition purposes. Now, I actually uh, am dumb, so I actually had to see what the uh, the color mixing was. 
But anyway, uh, how color mixing works basically is uh, any two uh, primary colors uh, mix to create a secondary color. Any secondary color plus uh, a primary color. Since the sec secondary colors are basically just treated as both primary colors, so it's like mixing three blobs of mercury. So if you have a pr so if you have magenta, that's blue plus red, and you mix it with a blue or red, you still just keep magenta. But if you mix it with a green, you get white. And sometimes getting white back, since you start every uh, level with white, but sometimes you have to change to white, and then you have to end on white, or change off of white, and then getting back to white is a pain. Anyway, here's crumble blocks. Also, can't you just, like, I seem to remember you can basically just hold forward in this level. This is really just a showcase of a bunch of things that can try and be a pain. The music in this game is also probably worse than I remember, but very fond memories. Intense concentration song. And is that a is that a repulsor or an attractor? I can never tell the difference between the two. I think it's an attractor. Okay, I actually uh, at the end of this level I want to invert the camera controls. time by a few milliseconds <laughs> so that's good enough for me uh, controller settings uh, okay it's left and right no it's up and down so I'm gonna change that to that and that to that okay Yeah, don't wait around on crumble ball blocks, you don't say. Oh boy, it's a seesaw. Uh, how do you do that one? Then you just do this. Oh, and we failed. This game is really fun, it's... <laughs> and I, I just love the emotes. Anyway, there's there's my first failure. There will be plenty on in the later levels, because this game is not free. By any means. I don't remember that being so hard. Can I just... I don't think I can just rush at it. Maybe I can. I remember a lot of this game, but I also don't remember a lot of this game, especially late game. Can I just rush it? I'm pretty sure I can't. Yeah. But yeah, I never really explained why, like, what the port really did. The port, like, apparently the port to the Wii just added, like, a few extra levels and better music or something. That's hard. Yeah, obviously this is a level you're not really meant to be doing uh, everything in one fell swoop in, but I like to because I'm dumb, so there we go. And that's all you have to do. I'm being pinged on Discord. Why am I being pinged on Discord? For no real good reason. Nice. This game actually has a surprising amount of uh, soundtracks. Alright. 
right, this. All right, it's this level. So this is the first uh, real level where you start with multiple blobs. Uh, yeah, let's just combine the blobs, it'll be easier. Or not. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough time, maybe. Cutting it close again, my goodness. So this game actually has a surprising amount of content. It's got... Is it 170 levels? I think it is. There's a lot of levels in this game. Uh, what level is this? I... Oh, it's this one, right. Because there, there's eight labs, each lab. But there's... Oh, wow. And there's the first instance of <laughs> oh, the sticky and slippery floors being a nuisance. So yeah, there's there's ten. Uh, there's it looks like there's eight uh, worlds with uh, sixteen levels each, but there's actually two bonus worlds, like two bonus labs. So it's actually ten labs, and actually each lab has a has an unlockable seventeenth level that's much harder than the rest of uh, the levels. So it's actually ten times uh, seventeen. And yeah, actually, I'm surprised. Joystick uh, to tilting is actually working pretty nicely. I didn't actually think it would uh, go so well, but it's actually pretty good. Oh, here's our first Mercury skin. You just unlock Mercury skins because stuff. You, you unlock so much stuff really quickly if you 100% every level. I say not actually unlocking anything. Also, I need to invert... I apparently need to invert... Really? Is there no invert cam... There must be an invert camera option, right? Alright, uh, yeah. Inverted, there we go. Okay, so yeah. I can fix my controller. Settings. I don't know why I I was like, let's reverse the controls instead of checking for an invert option. Uh, uh, I think I actually want... Do I want 45 degrees? I don't remember what I used to like. I think... Let's try free. That saved, right? No, it didn't. Uh, my invert option apparently didn't work. Uh, what is this one? Oh, it's this. It's this level. I need to change my options. I don't think you actually, uh... I think I wanted tilt direction to be inverted then. And not snap direction. Yeah, I don't think the, this game introduces a lot of new music tracks in later worlds. It's just the same, like, 20 or so music tracks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I, I think I want, them bo I want them both inverted. Okay.
But I mean, the, the music in this game is... Maybe I just have a lot of nostalgia for it, but I, I love the music in this game. Let's go change the other one also. I'm, ne I'm never satisfied. I'm so angry with controls. Uh... But anyway, yeah, there's, there's a party games option, by the way, but I haven't unlocked any of these. That's the only downside with this game. It's not multiplayer. The party games look like they should be multiplayer, but they aren't. Oh, it's this level! This level. Oh, can you not invert up and down? I thought you could invert up and down. Didn't I just do that? Because now everything feels off again. Also, I just messed up that. What's the pause? That's not pause. Okay, apparently both of those are set to the same button. <laughs> we home menu. Oh no. Okay, let me turn that off. Or I can't. Yeah. Okay, um. Oh. Oh no, I must have... Okay, must pause automatically. Okay, L is my pause button. L is my pause button, okay. L is my pause button. Yeah, that's better. I was pretty sure you could change up and down. Apparently, apparently I like it like this, which is not inverted at all. Okay. Anyway, uh, we need to restart this level. Also, I should probably put that those buttons on not stupid buttons. Okay. Um... Middle click to clear. I can't middle click. Okay, there we go. And then... Where was Eleanor? Minus on that. On that. Okay. Oh, so you can just, like, do this. Speedrunner trick. bonus being a pain. Just kind of have to be a bit, bit careful, and that's why it's a pain. <laughs> that's why that bonus is a pain. Also, apparently I lied when I said you don't, you always start with white marker. I don't know why I said that. Also, we just unlocked, I did not mean to skip that, but we just unlocked uh, the bio lab. Very much so, do not always start with white mercury. Mm -hmm. 
rip. So this game, like, it really does have a ton of content. And you might think, oh, it gets boring after a while, but this game has so many uh, mechanics. Some of which definitely were not mentioned in the tutorial. Most of the enemies. But this game has so many mechanics that it doesn't actually get old. Because there's a lot of ways to, uh... There's a lot of ways to spin this game. Oh, it's this one. I feel like that's gonna be my reaction for most levels. It's gonna be like, oh, it's this one. Pretty sure you can just go over that gate. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a Biolab course, uh, it's Biolab 17. Except easy. Yeah, we're, 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 go we're gonna be coming back to the wall uh, later on in Biolab 17. I remember most of the 17s because they're infamous. Uh, well, only really the first four. The latter four I don't remember. And I, I barely remember um, Chrono Lab and VR Lab. Oh, we just unlocked uh, Shove or whatever. Oh no, this is the bio lab. What did I unlock before? Was it a, it must have been a mini game then. Wow, you have to play through most of the uh, Astro Lab to unlock the bio lab. I think it's the same amount of levels per lab though. So we'll unlock like all of the we'll we'll unlock the final uh, main lab by like the end of uh Oh yeah, this level just has a bunch of random... Does it go further? Yeah, it does go on. Bunch of random invisible platforms, because of reasons. Those are always fun. Very few levels have those, though. You really start developing a nostalgia for these levels once they actually get long and difficult. For now, the levels are really, really easy, but... Mm, that'll change eventually. Oh, it's this one! This song. Also, this level... This is a very forgettable level. This song is great, though. This is, like, the one song I didn't forget. And we didn't even let the beat drop. <laughs> right, this this is way too intense of a song. Stray Mercury Blob! Okay, we got it down. Did not want to hit that switch, because this switch will uh, send us flying.
I certainly postponed these levels when I was uh, younger, because I hated them. Anyway, this level is... this is one of the super levels. This is a hard level. We've already failed. I do not remember the order I need to do this. So for this level, we have to... Our goal is to turn off all four repulsors so we can actually fall down. I don't remember the order we need to do... we need to go to each switch, though. We have to go to each one of these... In, in order. There, there's an efficient way to do this, which I do not remember, because each one also has its own, its own, cut like a switch, but a different color, uh, color changer, and we will need to combine. I think we need cyan at some point. Oh no, we did need yellow. Oh, there's two greens, okay. Actually, no, then do we need all the- We need all- we need all three composite colors, then. Yeah, we need all three secondary colors, so... Uh, in that case... Or, no, we don't need... Yeah, no, yeah, we do need all three. So we'll start by going up, and we'll get red. Then we'll go here. We'll split. Hit that. And that'll get us yellow. Okay, yellow is to the right. Or the left, rather. which is green and red. No, it's... What is magenta? Magenta is blue and red. I mean, 
I need to go to a blue one. I think up was better then instead of down. Where's blue? Blue's to the right. Okay, game lagged a bit there because I zoomed out too much. I didn't know- only the mu- I, oh, actually only the music seemed to be like it. I didn't notice any performance lag. Which is interesting. Oh yeah, and then we need white. Oh, how what is white? With what I have, I need... I need to add, uh, green, which- I, there's green over here. No, I ran out of time. These levels are really, really hard to uh, do perfectly. we go up or down first. And I think it's better to end with up, so... I know you've never heard of it, Wiz. This is a game I recommended you to play. Mercury Meltdown Revolution. It was uh, it's released on the Wii. Well, actually, it, it was ported to the Wii and upgraded in that port. It's basically your your uh, your blob of mercury, and your uh, goal is to get to the end. And it is uh, a game that I absolutely love to pieces. And uh, really. I, I explained all of it at the start, but, uh, yeah, I used to have this game when I was, uh, a kid, but I, uh, could no longer have it on console. There we go. We got a perfect run. And, uh, I finally, uh, was able to get it working on Dolphin. So, I'm playing it. Anyway, that was, that was the first level 17. Uh, now we actually go back to the easy stuff, <laughs> instead of level 17s. I'm not looking forward to Cryo 17. Anyway, this level is pretty easy, but I mean, it, it's still only the second world, so... That's to be expected. Pretty slow. But... So yeah, you're, you're this blob of mercury, and your goal is to get to the end. There's a... A bunch of completionist objectives like not losing any mercury and this, and collecting all of the bonuses and beating hard time. And there's a whole ton of uh, mechanics such as changing your color of mercury, changing the state of your mercury, and a whole ton of other obstacles and things to avoid. Or not usually avoid, but more so just figure out how to use them to get to the end. It is one of my all-time favorite games ever. Was this? Oh, this one. This one has, yeah, no music apparently. I'm not sure why the music's dying. Um, I kind of want that music back. But yeah, this one. This one is dumb because the bonuses are just like, fine. Go on to the invisible platform. Not sure why the music died. I think that's a normal thing that happens in the game, though. I seem to recall 
of that being a thing that happens. And just restarting will bring the music back. Uh, where's the platform for that one? I don't actually remember. Okay, it's on this side. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> Failure! No? Let's go back to level select. Give me my sweet music. I need my jams. This, this game's got too good of music. <laughs> there we go. Wow, I'm terrible. Much better. Now we aren't going to run out of time either. But yeah, I, t I totally recommend that you play this game, was if you like this sort of ball rolling game. Because it's got a ridiculous amount of content. And really good music. Maybe that's just me, though. Maybe I'm the only person who likes the music. Okay, that was kind of close. Okay, I don't recognize the supple from the, uh, the preview. I don't remember this level. Okay, I, no, that's not entirely true. I vaguely remember this level, but not really. Oh, I did this in the wrong order. I was supposed to do yellow first, optimally. Uh, and well. Okay, yellow, then cyan, then magenta. So I don't have to do cyan twice. Should still have time. vaguely remember this one, but definitely not as much as some of the other levels. I could have actually just gone. These things are not synced. <laughs> I completely forgot that was a thing. Those zappers. I was like, that's not a repulsor. You know, those things zap your mercury if you're in their field for too long. That bonus is actually really hard to get without losing mercury. Possible, but hard. Uh-oh. This won't end well. Actually, no, those things are on a timer. Yeah, as soon as they do th as soon as they do that, yeah. Yeah, you just barely can squeeze out. Oh, we gotta wait. 
away from the platform. We might be uh, rough on time here. Milliseconds uh, left, I think. Or no, no, I was over. I was over by point twenty-one. I was over. Gotta try it again. <laughs> What's with the emotes, Wiz? <laughs> Why are you smiling at me? Passive-aggressive smiling. Copying the level completion smile. Nice. Uh, right, I need to wait there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, this game has a lot of- this game has a, re a lot of really fun emojis. Some of them are actually pretty rare, really hard to actually see, because the conditions required for some of the, um, more uncommon emojis only actually appear in a few levels. Mostly for some of the unique fail conditions. Because, again, this level has a lot of unique fail conditions but a lot of them are highly situational. Like, you become Solid Mercury, but you can't win as Solid Mercury, so you fail. Stuff like that. <laughs> it's like an O. to do the most important thing. Uh, Mercury style. I've got to change our Mercury skin. Let's be a basketball. Uh, I don't actually remember the path that you take in this level. When's anime? Uh, after... I'm free as soon as I'm done this stream, so... squish yourself in these pipes, but I don't remember where the pipes go, so... Also, isn't there a terrible secret in this level? This, this level has, like, one of my favorite songs in this game. over the wall because there's like yeah there's there's a bounce thing there that's not an actual path you can go and then I have to finish the level I think while not losing that mercury or because it's not one way yeah this level's also really hard to do bonus plus mercury <laughs> But I think in this level I can show off a, uh, a unique fail condition, actually. Because if I think if I get stuck in that chamber, and then uh, lose all the rest of my mercury outside that chamber, the game is like, oh, you, you can't actually finish the level even though you have mercury.
just need to lose all of this mercury somehow. Oh, wait, no, no, that's how you do that. Never mind. Never mind. It's just a hidden path in the pipes. <laughs> I might be streaming this for a while, Wiz. I did not remember that hidden path in the pipe. I gotta be honest. Maybe yeah, I, I've, uh... I'm definitely going to be playing this for the next, like, several hours. normal hours you meant normal hours as in the normal hours we will <laughs> we do that at not normal hours for a human being to exist at I misunderstood what you meant by normal hours okay <laughs> can you at least give me another hour I've only been streaming for one hour <laughs> just one more hour mom <laughs> that's what it sounded like there Uh, this is just a normal mixing level, but it's harder to split, as I recall. Actually, no, is this even a mix level? No, there's, there's no mixing involved. Oh, no, there is, because, yeah, you have to end as yellow. But it's harder to split, because there's no dis defined place to split. That's the gimmick of this level. And then I have to get green again. Another hour and I might finish Cryo Lab. Actually, I don't know. Actually, another hour and I probably won't finish Cryo Lab because <laughs> Cryo Lab 17 is like really hard. It's one of the hardest levels in the game. I mean, it is a level 17. And it's one of the worst level 17s. I remember taking a long, long time to do Cryo 17. Anyway. What level are we even anyway in? 7. This level... oh yeah, it's this one. This one is pretty... pretty tame. Just don't get split by uh, being in the middle of the edges, like, uh, like that. Speedrunner level. This game is, this is actually a pretty, a pretty hype speed game, honestly. Oh boy, the 30 skin. Like, this would actually be a really fun game to run if Dolphin was an accepted emulator. <laughs> I haven't actually noticed any inaccuracies. It's emulating really, really well on Dolphin. Like, a lot better than something like Sunshine emulated. This is emulating, like, perfectly. Yeah, maybe I'll just say screw the rules and... <laughs> I mean, really, this game is mostly best for its ILs. Not really a full game speedrun. This would have a really strong IL base. Anyway, here's the cryo lab unlock, I think. Yep. Again, calling each level a specific thing, like Astro, Bio, Cryo, Electro, I forget the next four. Isn't really a... Oh, and we also unlocked Shove? Oh no, match or met metrics, not matrix. Metrics. This is the worst mini game. Really, most of the mini games, except for race, are terrible. <laughs> not very fun. What are, what are the other ones? It ends with arrow and then hydro, I think, or hydro and then arrow. What what are labs five and six? I don't remember. 
Also, oh, it's this one. This one is... That's a really hard uh, bonus to get. I remember that bonus. And I remember that bonus sucking. two fronts. It can very well, it can very easily, uh... I seem to remember there being a button to snap your camera back. But I'm pressing all the buttons, and maybe there isn't. I thought you could snap your camera back to the grid, if it's off-grid, but... I'm guessing not. I need to like flatten myself out so that I'm wide and not very tall and then hold left really early on. Like this. And then I still don't make it, okay sure. Maybe I should just um, split myself. Okay, now we made it. Then this one sucks also. get up here, because with as much momentum as possible. Ugh! Also, also for the record, the, the, the percentage of blob, like, is actually kind of terrible. Because it's not actually, like, 1 to 100. There, there are fixed uh, blob points that you can't, uh, like, the smallest amount of blob you can uh, lose is, uh, like, 6.5%. Actually, I think I have to split myself for this. Maybe. I don't- I, I seem to recall being able to do this without splitting myself, but... Because how would I split myself? Okay, I guess I can do that. Okay. So yeah, the smallest blob of mercury you can have is six, registers at 6%. And the largest non-complete is always 93%. And, like, you can get a bunch of ranges in between them, but I'm pretty sure it's always a multiple of 6.5 or something. Rounded to the nearest whatever. I think one- I think more in the center. There's more values in the center, maybe. But it's still kind of clumped, and you'll eventually notice that. Also, this level. This tricolor. So I sure just just do that. Also, if I just like toss the red blob off, I'm off. I'm pretty sure we'll see. Uh... No, it's still that. One. Well, how do you get that other blob? I'm trying to remember. Maybe it's something like. I think you can like do a half mix. your mercury stuck in. like inside the gate or something i'm trying to show a funny fa I, I, like i'm trying to find unique ways of failure i know you can mix while still being inside the gate yeah like that and now if i eat this off I thought it would register that I'm trapped, and I guess not. Maybe it's only that one level, because there's one level in particular that you can get a very specific failure state, and there's a unique uh, emote, like there's a unique um, emoticon in the top left corner for it. But I, I actually don't think it shows up in any other level. I think it's level specific. It's in like the fourth lab or something. Also, yeah, the, this part is actually hard to do with full memory and fast, my goodness. 
almost hard. sucks. <laughs> Maybe you should just get like some of my blob. Nah, I don't have time to pull that off though. The time is really tight in this level. I have to do it with 100%. I can't like split and trap some of mine inside the gate. What just happened there? I just forgot how to control the camera and, and failed terribly. But yeah, that would have been fine because you don't have to, like, as long as a blob touches the end, all the mercury that is currently alive on the field is uh is considered uh like reaches the end. As long as any amount of mercury touches the end, it doesn't matter if it's a part of the blob that touches the end. Sliding panels. The sliding door. Oh yeah, this is sliding door hell. This is one that has a, a unique end state, I'm pretty sure. Like, if you mix the wrong colors and you can't actually get... Like, yeah, if you can't get yellow anymore, this one has a unique state. I know that. I know that is fact. Alright, no, maybe... It's, or no, because you know you need white at the end. Maybe not then. I thought this one had a unique failure state. Like if you get yourself trapped somewhere. But yeah, you only need white to end, not yellow. Yeah, you, only, you need yellow for the bonus, but you need a lot of yellow. Which means I need to avoid mixing it with any blue. Any blue, magenta, or cyan. Also, yeah, the camera just kind of zooms out to uh, oblivion here, so... Is this enough? Yeah, you don't need a ton of yellow. Now I just need to, like, get white somehow. Oh, but I, I need 100% of my mercury for this. Which I think I have. Okay, I do. I know there's a pressure- I haven't shown the, the failed pressure switch, uh, emote yet. Oh, it's this one! It's Stan! <laughs> it's, it's our first Stan level. You stand here and you get the bonus. And, uh, I think that's actually it, right? Oh, we have to- do we have- oh no, we don't have to split, we just need to die. Shoutouts to Stan, we all love Stan. Uh... This is also a really, really excellent song. Oh, 
Oh, I remember this level vaguely. This is a first with uh, multiple Mercury states, right? Like alternate Mercury states. Also, we just have this again. Okay, well that worked. I think it's falling, yeah, I think it's falling off while you have a different Mercury state. Losing all your Mercury while you have a different Mercury state generates a different, uh, emo. But I, I mean, that'll happen eventually. So. Uh, what are we doing here? This is Stan level. Oh, is this, is this Stan level? Again, I vaguely recall this level. Really, just uh, do you know how how to make how to manipulate Stan? This was, uh, 15, right? One more. One more, and then Bio 17, which is also hard. Harder than Astro 17, but still not too terrible. Oh, no, that was 14. This is 15. I remember this level. Vaguely. I need yellow, which means this purple is... What's the point of the purple? The purple is entirely detrimental to me. Yeah, there it is. There's the hole. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> See, for optimal for this one is actually if I can just push all of these into green and not let have that happen. Being big makes it easier to get those, uh, secrets. Whatever. It's fine if it's trapped in the maze. It's safe trapped in the maze. I should do that. Okay, we got the bonus. Now we just need something to hit the end. Which will be this thing. A bit of a weird level. Is this Electrolab? No, this is Shove. Oh boy, Shove. Which, in theory, is good, but this minigame sucks. <laughs> Ooh, and we get the soccer ball. Sure, I'll change to the soccer ball. Alright, this level. Alright, and there's- I remembered the ending of this level. Oh yeah, and it's a tricolor bee. Uh, what do I do in this level? Is that green? Oh right, there's two! 
Oh crap, there's two. Here I can show off a thing though. Yeah, I think. Or no, because it's the same as before, I think. Because yeah, if I go through here and then combine, it'll be like, darn, we lose. No? Wait, there's no there's no failure detection for this? There should be. Because it's no longer possible to finish this level. Sometimes the failure detection... I guess the failure detection isn't as good as I remembered. Alright, that's what you do. That's the fast way to do that. You do that. Right. But then getting the bonus is a pain. Right, right. Because the bonus... I have to split myself. Because I need red... And then I also need green. I need to like split myself on this curve. Which is an easier said than done. And then I need to get to the maze at the end here. This level's actually kinda hard. Wait, no, I'm yellow! I'm yellow, I'm not magenta! I'm yellow! Wait, crap! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this level's really hard to get the bonus and beat part time. And really hard. Very little to split yourself on. Oh, yellow again. You can split yourself on the legs of the tricolor paint shop, but it's really awkward and kind of very unreliable. We want we want to mix those into cyan so that Okay, well we split that. Get stuck on the No, now I'm both blue. Okay. Okay, this this should be doable now. Just need to solve the maze and like Three seconds. No, I don't think I have enough time. No, we ran out of time. I need to, like two more seconds. Just barely ran out of time again. This level's hard. At least it's got a jam, an absolute jam. I need one more second!
And now I'm remembering the pain of this level. Also, I just remembered the easy way to do it, and that's just... If I can split... Yeah, if I can split those blobs, I don't need to actually do both. Never mind. I found the easy way of doing this level. I know it's... I know when I was younger, I'm... Most of the time, I did it the way I was trying to do it. Wow, actually, uh, this is so much easier. <laughs> if you can just not put both blobs in. Wow, I'm bad. <laughs> and I was just like, hmm, wow, that, that does work. Anyway, bio, uh... Oh, there's the point breakdown. Bio 17, it's... It's pretty hard to get all the bonuses in Bio 17, as I recall. Okay. Meanwhile, we unlocked 27 different things. And what are the other labs? Cryo, Electro, right, Geo, and then Atom, then Aero, Hydro. And then beyond, beyond that, it's Chrono, and then VR, the secret two labs. Anyway, Bio 17. This one is really kind of terrible. It's basically an entire vertical level. And I do not remember how to do it at all, so... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna relearn the level. I'm not gonna restart yet. Oh yeah, getting that secret and then landing on the gold... I actually really like this level, it's just hard. Oh right, and there's some nonsense at the end. Oh, I forgot about the ending. I forgot about the ending. Oh, and then... Alright, and then... Okay, so if I die myself, I'll... remember to do this one. I'm pretty sure that bonus under the green I can just walk over while red and I, I clip like I'm pretty sure I can just get the bonus though. I'm pretty sure that bonus is free, which is the only good thing. Right, yeah, it's a trail of three bonuses at the end. Is that right? Yeah, I can just do that. Okay, now I have to use the ledge to split myself. I think this is all my... as I remembered. I remember this this jump here being terrible though. Oh god, the camera, what is the camera doing? Oh god, that jump. Yeah, that's the worst part. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, I, I guess the camera just like doesn't like to go behind this level. Yeah, the camera really does not like to go behind this level. This would be a level I would actually want. This is a level I want Snap 90 on, probably. Oh, 
<laughs> it's so terrible. You have to get all three secrets and then land on the goal. Obviously, that's not. That's the. the that's the, the, the. Not required. You can just. You're just. The easy way is to just drop down the edge. Down the ledges. And then, uh. And then, uh, roll around on that, uh, curve. But. That's the, uh, that's the easy way of doing it. And that doesn't get you all the bonuses. I remember the rest of this level being harder, but it's actually, it's actually free. It's only the ending that sucks. Otherwise, this level's actually really easy. Okay, well, that can happen. Now I've got mercury everywhere. Uh, I don't suppose there's a way of recovering this. Okay, that one's safe there. Uh, this one... Okay, yeah, no. I just felt like that. I actually almost almost recovered it, but falling I fell too far. Might not have had enough time. Honestly speaking, hard to say. Complete failure. Yeah, actually, this is... Yeah, this... Yeah, Astro... Astro is way easier than this one. Astro 17. If only because of the ending. Getting all the bonuses. Like, it's not even... Well, I guess, yeah, getting all the bonuses and surviving is better. If you do it all at one. Like, it's not as bad if you do it them separately. If you just go for 100%. Like, uh, if you go for uh, all Mercury and all bonuses on separate runs. But it still, it still sucks to some extent. Ooh, that's not good. But we do have a jam for this one. This level, at least. Mercury off the back edge. I was just thinking to myself, oh yeah, it's possible to lose Mercury off the back edge. And one of our blobs hit the end. Amazing. That ended terribly. That level is such a shit show. No, 
I'm gonna have a stupid ghost, so... I'm actually gonna turn off the ghost. I don't actually like it that much. And you know what? Let's change our Mercury style. Let us become Soccer Ball. Also, I like the difference between Style 1 and Style 2 is, like, none. There is no difference. Maybe Soccer was the answer instead of Basketball. I turned off Ghost Player, excuse me. Maybe I have to restart the level. I don't actually know what unlocks the, uh, the skins, either. I don't really know what unlocks a lot of stuff in this game. You just kind of unlock stuff by 100%ing levels. <laughs> it's just like, you, you get into the groove, you do a whole ton of levels at once, and then it's just like, oh, you unlock 27 things. Like, three mer three skins, two new labs, and, and a party game. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, we got it. We didn't even shatter. Perfect. You just need to really get the angle of that wall. Okay. Cryo 1. Let's start, uh... This... Oh yeah, this level. This level shouldn't be hard. We can we can jump off though, and we can get oh. <laughs> I love that. I I I'm I, I, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. There. Save it as oh. states, because I know that if you fall off while having different Mercury states, I'm pretty sure they've got different, uh, slightly different emotes. Of course, once you, uh, hit the pressure switch, the, uh, that detection is actually removed, so I can fall off and it would have the normal darn you loss. The bonus is not level of free. blobs so it's if, if you've got two blobs that are just kind of separated you can just kind of wiggle them back and forth and they will eventually come back together and the, the, small, the larger the size difference the faster that happens they just kind of like become magnetic or something <laughs> I'm pretty sure 
I need to finish this level as white, actually, don't I? Yeah, well, it's white finish, so... This, level, this level's actually hard on top. This ending jingle, whenever you beat a level, does get old very fast. <laughs> uh, is this the last mini game? No, this is the Electro Lab. Yeah, you unlock the mini games really quickly. Oh, it's this fun level. This level's fun. I can toss half my mercury off the edge and be like, oh. Oh no, it, it doesn't realize that I, I've died. Okay, I've lost. Okay, never mind. It's done. Yeah, this is the second of the, of the uh, Repulsor Up Ramps level. They took the idea from Astrolab, and they're like, we like this idea, so let's do it again. And then they do it one more time in Electrolab. This time, it's actually a lot harder, because it's very easy for, uh, you just kind of get s s flattened. It's like the opposite of spaghettification, it's pancakeification. for landing directly on it, but it kind of fell flat. Oh, it's this one! They, yeah, they, they, yeah, this level. <laughs> they were like, let's take Bio 1, and then just, like, make it more annoying. <laughs> no, not really. It reminds me of Bio 1, though. Constant sticky and slippery floors, though, are big pain. to do this level in time. surface tension emulation. Oh, this is bad. We might... I'm pretty sure we get one more pass of the, of the platform, though. I'm fairly certain we do. We don't! Never mind, I'm full of it. <laughs> Let me just stop forgetting how to control the camera. slightly steep, too steep to climb. Because I think I might be able to skip the last platform cycle, but that would be really sketchy, so 
Uh, actually, on this one, you do kind of have to go really fast. Also, I'm on a... Give myself free camera again. That's what's been missing. Yeah, this time I didn't miss that cycle. Okay, this, this is going much better. This game was uh, back in my, uh, long before my, uh, I was, uh, on the internet days. Long before that, so. Back, back, back in the classic good old days when it was just a young lad playing, uh, oh no, is this the first level with Gravity Inversion? I forgot Gravity Inversion was a thing. The gravity inverters. These suck. Because your controls invert too. And then everything falls apart and the mercury makes no sense! Ah! If you split while you're upside down, if you if you split while you're upside down, that mercury's just gone. You're never ever recovering it because as soon as it's no longer under the effects of gravity, inverted gravity, it falls down, and then its controls are normal. So it just pressing left just sends it so far away, and then everything falls apart. Actually, I was I was mixing up Electro Lab with a different, or yeah, Electro Lab 17 with a different level. But now I remember what Electro Lab 17 is. It's hell with the inverted gravity and sideways gravity. played this game back when it was just like, oh, I'm like 13 and playing games on the Wii in the basement all day. Before the worries of Discord and internet persona. I totally knew that. Ah, here's Paint. Here's the last minute. Game. But yeah, long before the days of, of, even before my YouTube channel. So that was honest, honestly, have, was it really that long ago? Like five, six years? Yeah, I guess I have had this game for like I think, I think it was eight years ago that my sister bought this for me, at least. Grav Benders turn the world upside down. You don't say. Oh, is this this level? Oh, no, it's this level. This level's really hard. Oh. Oh, this level sucks. There's a skip you can do. I remember the skip. I should reset. You can use, I can use that launcher. So so here's the thing. Isn't there a Oh yeah, yes, there we go. Right, yeah, yeah, I forgot about this mode. Yeah, there is a pan. So we got these, uh, schizoid, schizoids. Uh, if they touch you, explosion, and you lose mercury. So, but what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to use that, uh, use that thing to jump into that panel, 
and never open that. Because to open that, I need to hit that one. And then that Mercury there is safe, and I never release that last Schizoid. Unfortunately, the problem is there is a there is a pressure panel there, so I have to... It actually has to be a small amount, because it can't be a ton, because of that pressure panel. I guess we'll try it normally though. These things, these things home in on you. So when you release all four of them, it's, it's held. Get in, get out, and not touch those things. Maybe actually this isn't as bad as I remember. Maybe I was just really bad when I was young. <laughs> Maybe I was just really bad when I was young. But I remember having a ton of trouble with this level. Okay. Still need to get the bonus. that it's all ice physics. Okay, come this way. Okay, now I just need to get to the end in time. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't nearly as bad as I remember. I guess it was just really bad when I was young at planning ahead. Fair enough. That one still sucks. Oh, it's the happy face! This was my skin for so long. Yeah, it was, I was like, it was, I went default and then basketball, then the smiley face for like 10 years, and then I swapped to like the hamburger skin <laughs> later on. Shout out to the hamburger skin. Let's take a look actually at uh, these skins. This one is just like weird shaded. Oh yeah, this level. This level is weird. I mean, that skin is weird. And this one is just like it's like an eyeball or something. I never liked that level or that skin. I don't know which one is this. 30! This one, unlike the eyeball one, doesn't really rotate. This one's weird because it's got, like, text on it. And, I don't know, that one just looks really weird. And we have a smiley face! <laughs> also, we need to restart the level. skin. Yes, an actual hamburger skin. Oh yeah, but I've got a... Oh no, I don't have to combine. I thought I had to split and combine in this level, but that would be terrible. Okay, let's see. I mean, it looks like you do, because there's like a spike at the end. I guess they're like, that's too hard, so let's just change it to be, uh, green. this? This was Cryo 6 or 7 or something? There's the last party game. Cryo 7.
Uh, we're actually gonna go look at party games and then I'm going to end stream briefly. So some of these uh, party games have multiple stages. Also, there's no real good camera. This isn't minigame. There's no minigame exclusive music. We just haven't heard this song yet. There's like... Maybe there's like 30 songs. There's a ton of level songs in this game. Also, I was really bad at rodeo when I was young. Because this fan moves around so wildly and has an extremely strong influence. Ah! And we're gone. <laughs> Didn't even last a minute. Might have been enough to unlock stage two, though. It's score based. Nowhere's near enough to get to. I, I never got. I was only good at the race game. Apparently, it was enough to unlock the next stage, though. I, I hated all of the minigames except uh, race. Race was the longest and the most fleshed out, and definitely the coolest. Yeah, so the things I kept thinking when I was younger that there was a way to unlock multiplayer mode for these <laughs> mini games if you played long enough. Like, oh, unlock multiplayer? No. There's no multiplayer. It's the only bad thing about this game. These party games would be sick as multiplayer. Like split screen race and all that good stuff, but no. Oh, we lost some. This one's going much better though. I guess, yeah, score is based on how long I guess you keep the majority of your Mercury. So my score is really bad because I lost my Mercury really quickly. Most of it. Uh, like 6% left. It seems to be actually entirely based on what your score is based on. Time multiplied by Mercury plus current score. Something like that. Okay. It just lagged for a moment. are different in this mode, ever so slowly. Anyway, we lasted two minutes, good enough. That's 170,000, that should smash, sad place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll do more of that one later. I want to do a bit of race mode and then end streaming, because I uh, did promise this. Even though I think there's only three stages of Rodeo. I don't know. Race is the fun one. There's ten stages of race. It starts off pretty basic, but the later levels are insane.
think stage three or four is when it starts getting interesting. Still beat the fastest time, so... Next level. In some ways, this is almost more fun than the main game. I do notice, actually, that... I'm holding forward on my joystick, and I can't actually max out that gosh. I don't know if you can, though. I should use this as, like, a control test. No. No, you know, it doesn't work. I don't think you can max out that gate. I think, I think, I think my uh, controls are, are working perfectly fine. Oh, I, I jumped over the checkpoint. Yeah, you can do that, and then it's it's great. You gotta you gotta listen for the ba da da. Oh my god, I keep jumping over that one. I really love how the music in this game doesn't reset if you restart. It was a, it's a really, really nice choice. Because you oft sometimes restart really often. Also, if part of your Mercury falls off, it's irrelevant, because your Mercury kind of, like, regenerates itself. Also, you can't really go backwards, actually. Going backwards is, like, almost impossible. You do not have free reign exploration. You can only really hold forward and turn slightly. <laughs> back is not an option. <laughs> There's no going back. We're here now. Uh... Race is actually really hard to do optimally. I, ta I would love to see a tacit race. Let's just finish this race and then I'll end stream. Because it is about the time that I uh, told Wizard that I would be around. Ah! What happened there? Why is the level 2 kicking my ass? Because I gotta slow down on curves! Imagine slowing down in a race game. Ah, I overshot it! Yeah, there's no really going back if you overshoot it. Just kinda have to jump off and do the whole section again. Which is, uh, nothing like Mario Kart. Physics are also really weird in this mode. Also, yeah, it's if part of you falls off, it, it follows the bigger blob. So really, honestly, this mode, like, physics are completely different in this mode. Also, we definitely might not unlock level two. Yeah, I don't remember this level being so hard. Or unlock. Oh my goodness. It's like they attach the camera to a string, and like, I'm pulling the string behind me. As if you fall off the camera, it just starts doing 360s. Like, you can hold back to slow down, just not turn back. That was abysmal. Oh no, we didn't even place. We didn't even place! 
<laughs> we didn't even place. Forgot about the music that happens if you don't place in the top five. For the records, you can have like four save profiles, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Game just glitched there. But I'm pretty sure that uh, the yeah uh, the, the score is irrelevant. Like it doesn't actually track. You don't actually have competition between profiles. I'm pretty sure. I think. I think. Because you do need to get number one to 100%. But so that just means basically beating part time. And doing other stuff to modify your score. Also, the game is glitching slightly now. Oh no, the race is too powerful. When I was young, I would spend hours grinding out the later levels of these races. Cause they, like, they do get very hard. They do get very hard. It was the speedrunner in me. The speedrunner in me wants me to go fast. Too fast. Oh my goodness, my bad. I should actually, like, try and be careful, though, instead of being an idiot. So yeah, you're judged based entirely on time for this mode. I really got a break. without falling off. Okay, we just barely hit that one. Hey, look, we fell off. Oh, we clipped back in. We didn't fall off. It's like we fell off, but also not. <laughs> end stream. I'd really love to keep playing, but I told people I would be around to do stuff now, so I should I should do that. Um, honestly, probably I have might might only have have time to stream this Monday. It's probably the next time we will do this because it is Friday, and I usually don't stream much on the weekends unless it's in the evening with like Popper or other dumb memes. So yeah, have a seal and. Uh, I can't wait for Monday to play this again. <laughs>